Do you have a receipt for this? Yeah. I mean, you can tell we have good cameras. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm not gonna to have to take a whole bunch of arrest warrants on you that you don't know about so you get pulled over with your kids in the car and get taken to jail. Yeah, I don't want to go to jail. Anymore. Have you done this any other time? But she says it looks like you walk around and select that stuff while, you, while you're stalking throughout the day. Well, on my break. Well, here's what we're going to do, okay? Okay. Do you have somebody that can take care of your kids? Um, not really. Well, you're going to have to. Well, I don't know. That's, that's a you problem. I need some help. Do you have a receipt for this? Yeah. That wasn't. I wasn't going to take that. Yes, you were. You put it all in the box and you were leaving <laughs> with it. No, I wasn't going to take it. I was going to go back. So you've already taken it past the register. Mm -hmm. Put this down for now. <coughs> I'm Detective Franco with the athens Clark County Police Department. Put your hands behind your back. You're being arrested for shoplifting at this time. We're going to go to the office and talk about this. Okay. Where is that one? Up front of the store. Where's You went out the door with it. I was gonna go you, to get my car. You've done this several times. He was doing already had it listed as it can you as a search place. What? We'll no, talk no, about no. it. You put stuff in boxes like seven days in a row and took it. So we'll talk about it all in a minute. Your name is Brittany Fields, correct? Yes, Thirty three sixty nine Central. I'm out at Walmart in custody with a female shoplifting suspect. Get my phone. Yeah, I got it. You'll get your phone back. This one is hurting my arm. I'll check it when we get to the. You got very little wrist. Those are barely even around your wrist. Well, maybe it's because you're pulling my arm. Well, I'm just. I don't think you're going to run from me, but we'll get in the office and I'll check them. Yeah, I've never been to the Okay, well, you're being arrested for shoplifting today. I want to talk to you about the other incidents. Let's go down this way. So. Are you going to go get a, a, a mountain? Okay. Take a picture of everything, too. Have you ever even been arrested before? Savion Wallen, Bravo Outpost Patrol, Golf Hotel, November 08-11-98, Black Hill. So I'm going to go to jail today? Oh, we'll talk about all that in a few minutes. I have three little girls. I don't think We'll talk about it all. This is uh, Beth. She's the assistant manager. I'll let her talk to you, and I'll give you a chance to talk to me. But like I said, for now, you are in custody. Okay. So Where we're are we going? This loss prevention office right here. Uh -huh. All right, just have a seat on the bench. I'm going to leave you with Emily from Loss Prevention. Okay. Let me check these. Yeah, yeah this, this one is tight. This one's fine. But your wrists are so small, I can barely even get them on you. Well, you see, I was like pinching my skin. What's your date of birth? Three six nine Central. Her date of birth name is going to be, right? Mm -hmm. Check her criminal history. I'm, I don't think she has any. No, I don't. All right. So, I'm going to put it to you like this, all right? Here, so today, you know, she was watching you on the camera, and we were waiting there, so we know what happened. 
we saw you stage that box there. We saw the stuff in it, so we we know what you did today. Okay. But we have some evidence that you've done this other days as well. So I want to talk to you about these incidents, but the way this works is since you're in handcuffs and you can't leave, since you're in custody, before I can talk to you, I have to make sure you understand your rights, okay? Okay. So I told you who I was. I'm Detective Franco from the police department. Go ahead. Just so I'm clear, you want us to run a criminal history, correct? Yes, run a criminal history on her. All right. Yes, Central, I'm going to be busy for a minute in an interview. Um, you have the right to remain silent, okay? Anything you say can or will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present while you're being questioned. Okay. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish one. Okay. If you decide to make a statement, you may stop at any time. Okay. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Yes, sir. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? Yes. So what's going on? Why are you taking stuff today? I don't know. Are you low on money? I mean, what's the deal? I mean, there's got to be a reason. No. I okay. mean, I don't know. How many other times have you taken stuff? All right. Mm -hmm. Do you do this regularly since you started working here? No. Okay. Well, this is 1029. So this is the 29. I paid for this. Pulled video. She said you didn't. You said there were three dollars. I paid for them. Where'd you pay for them at? Because she's she's pulled video and said you didn't pay for any of that. Oh, um, uh, I paid on the online pay thing. Okay, I, I don't even know how you do that. You got to take them to a register. You can't you just. You still have to go to a register. Without. What do you mean online pay? There's no way to scan the app on your phone. You still have to go to a register to do that. Scan yeah, you got to do that at a register. Okay, let's just go to the next one. This day, just like today, this was the first. Now some of those boxes were empty. Okay. I promise. Well, she's so this. Every day that I pulled, I have pictures here. They are not empty. All right. Well, so this day, let's see. That's you. You took a speaker this day. No, it's a, it's a, wait, which one is it? It's a coffee pot. The third. Oh, wait. No, that's a, that's, that's a camera shot. Okay. Uh, that's not list of All right, that. so this is the fourth. Uh, I guess that nothing that day. Thing. Let's see. Oh, no, there's nothing that day. All right, so this day you took a Christmas tree. Uh, no, I swear that was empty box. <laughs> so you're saying you just take empty boxes okay, home? That's why you grab it off the shelf. If she so saw that, you, she saw you take it off the shelf. And she, no, okay, no, I know that is the Christmas tree that Tyler gave to me. I paid for it. Was a, two Christmas trees in it that Tyler gave to me half price because it was a display. Okay, well, she says How, a, a, a video game controller. She saw you select a camera, a bunch of socks. Uh, okay, well, we'll have to we'll have to look at the video. Uh, an L flatter. You walked out with that? Yeah, I paid for that. Where'd you pay for that? At the garden center. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is on the 9th, which was two days ago. I don't think we got you with anything there. And this day, a bumper car? A $99 bumper car? That was yesterday. Yesterday. This was yesterday, so that shouldn't be hard to remember. Yeah, I remember that. Did, what happened there? Did you pay for that? No, I didn't pay for that. So you're saying the only time you didn't pay was yesterday? Yes. The, uh, I swear the other things were empty boxes. Well, what, where is the receipt from today? How much is it going to be today? So... It, the bumper car and that today. Well, here's, here's my problem. If, if you did it today, I mean, and you did the same thing taking empty boxes out the other days... None of those had the stuff. The guy in automotive helped me put the, the empty boxes in my car the other day. I don't know his name. They were just empty boxes. I swear. Now, the bumper car today, yeah, no. So, when we watch back video, we're not going to find you putting anything in these boxes. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. Is there anything else you've taken besides yesterday and today that you want to admit to? I mean, this is just a receipt from today. That's everything you had in the box. No. It's $90. No. Do you want to do your interview with her? I mean, you pretty much already done it. So. All right. If, I do mean, do, do you want to see if she wants to write I a statement? Pay all this stuff back. 
Do you want her to write a state? I can take, they can take it out of my chest. Yeah, do you want to write a statement for Walmart about this incident? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you out of cuffs. You're still in custody. Okay. But I'm going to let you, if you, okay. want, to, if you want to write a statement for them yeah, about what just, happened. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. I've been going through a lot. So get up and take you out of cuffs for a minute. You can write this statement for them. I've never been in any kind of trouble with it ever. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll leave them off for a little bit. I don't think you're going to run, and if you no. do, I'm fairly certain I can catch you. I'm not, I'm not going to run. Go ahead and take that vest off as well. Okay. I'm pretty sure you're going to be fired as part of this. I mean, I, say, I, I would venture to say she's going to be fired, correct? Pay it back. Is there anything of yours in this vest? Yeah. Take your stuff out of it. Take I mean, so there, am I going to get arrested? Well, you are arrested right now. I, I haven't decided the rest of the part, but... I mean, I'm just... I've never been in any trouble, and I would be glad to pay back the stuff. Well, no, unfortunately, that's not how it works. I, I know that. All right. Uh, I think this is the See, what's your address? Hold on, I'll get it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Let me grab my computer bath. Scoot over for me, please. Science Central. When you got another unit, if you'll send me one more. Do you still live at... Yes, sir. I just, if I don't have anything else, I just want to go to jail. I need to call someone because I have well, three girls. Is there nobody... What, what, are they out of school yet? Um, They go to after school when I pick them up when I get off work. We'll, we'll let you call somebody if we go that way. One of you want to, We need you to sign this. She's about to tell you you're barred. This says you're barred from here for two years, okay? You want to tell her she's barred so from the store? Barred two years, we see you as criminal trespassing and strict jail. So you can't come to this Walmart for two years. So sign there that you know you're barred. So can't come here, period. Nope, not for any reason. Like even like sitting in the car? Like, nope. You cannot come on any of this. You Rainbow, can't come on the property. Um, we party you can't in this parking lot. Are you done with that? Yeah. Well, I was trying to. Yeah, just Three six nine central. I need you to show us barred from Walmart for a period of two years. I'm sorry, my radio was low. Did you say it was done? Yeah, I'm almost done with it. I've never been to any kind Yeah, I have to check. But you've never been arrested at all? Never been arrested. Okay. Never. Well, they, so this is for them. This is, uh, let's see, you got to sign and date it. Like I said, that's for Walmart. That's not for me. They also said like a couple days after you got hired, they saw you putting a pair of underwear in your purse. Underwear? Something like that. Well, I didn't even, we don't even get, we can't even bring a purse in. You weren't you were working. Here with your kid. It was right before you really started. Yeah, you know, I have no idea. Go ahead. I worked to your kid. Yeah, bring a person. Okay. So, so how do y'all deal with the termination? Do you just tell her now, or okay? I mean, that's on y'all. What's the name? Eleven. Eleven. So obviously, you know you're barred from here. So yes. that means. You're gonna. Do you want me to sign as a witness? Do you want me to put me as a witness? Yeah. I'm sorry. Or is that y'all? No, no, that's fine. I will never ever. 
So you did it yesterday, and you did it today, but you said all those other days you didn't take anything, and those were all empty boxes. Yes. So I just want to ask you one thing. So if you had if you had to pay back Walmart, how much do you think that it would be? If you can just write that amount down there, how much do you think that that would be? Um, how much do you think total you took? And here, look, I'm going to tell you, it, I'm going to tell you, it, Look, and here's the thing, too. You know we're going to go back and review video. Are we going to go back through video and find you putting stuff mm -hmm. in those boxes? If you've done it more than once... And you can see we have great video. Yeah. She's been working on it. Of course, they, they haven't had time to review every video, but all she has to do is sit in here if she needs to, and she can sit all day and review video. Are we going to find any more cases of you doing this? The more honest you are now, because I don't want to let you, I don't want to have to take a whole bunch of arrest warrants on you that you don't know about, so you get pulled over with your kids in the car and get taken to jail. Yeah, I don't want to go to jail. Either. Have you done this any other time, besides today and yesterday? The, I know the pillows. I paid for. How'd you pay for the pillows? I paid for them. I put them back there and I paid for them later. Where? At a register? Because that's the only way. You, so you walk through a register. What's in this box? Underneath. That was yesterday. What's in this box? Nothing. That box is so, still in my car. There's nothing in there. I swear to God. Where is it in your car? Because I just went and looked in your car. In the trunk. Oh. So why are you taking a bunch right, of empty boxes? Because I was putting my Christmas stuff in them. What about the coffee maker? The coffee maker? Mm-hmm. No. You didn't pay for it? No. Okay. What else is in this bag behind it? I have no idea. So you didn't pay for the coffee maker? No. Okay, so that's another and item. Is this clothes in this bag with the elf thing? Or? I know, it's really hard to see. The day with the elf ladder. The elf, the, no, not, that wasn't elf ladder. The Christmas tree I paid for. You can ask Tyler for that. We'll go back and check. The elf ladder. Or is it saying elf climbing? I think it's elf climbing the ladder. Um, I don't know. They're $59. Yeah. Did you pay for it or not? No, not that. What about that? What's I in the bag? I, was that. I don't. One day, now that might have been the day I had a T-shirt that I had took off at work and a cook. So it didn't pay for the elf ladder. No. Okay. No. The, the day the with the Christmas tree. We're just not even going to talk yeah. about the Christmas tree. We'll. Yeah. I'll confirm that later on. What about in this box? What's in the box and the bag? There was nothing in that box. The bag. So the, what about the the socks? Was those three dollar socks? Okay, so what about the controller from electronics that you got okay. out of the case? You went and asked somebody for their keys. It was on your top stop card. There's a controller and a PS, PS5 camera. It's a um, little interactive camera for your PlayStation. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, I don't really know what you're talking about, but I think, yeah. Did you pay for those? No, one day somebody took that off my card. I had was getting it for a customer. But you and stopped. There was, a you game. there was a game too. Uh, there was like six games. Or like movies and stuff. I can pull the DVPM and show you. I'm telling you, we have really good cameras. This, I'm, I'm seeing how honest you're going to be to see what I'm going to charge you with. Because we have, we have the power of charging per case. Okay. So. That's why we said. Like I said, the if, more honest you are. That's why we just want you to be honest so we can figure all this out. Because I mean, you're a stalker, right? Why would you be getting video game stuff? One day I helped someone when there was nobody in the electronics. But you had somebody else open it, but you took the stuff and put it on your card. Did you take that video game controller home? The video controller of the PS5? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that you didn't pay for that. No, but the game the game that she's talking about, I that was for a customer that they okay, got it. I got you, but the controller you took. And yeah. what about the camera thing? Yes. That you took that. So, so far we got the bumper car thing, and then we got the coffee maker, we got the video game stuff. Are you still in these for Christmas presents? What's your deal? Why are you doing it is what I'm getting at. I'm just having a hard time with my three kids. But it, that doesn't make it right. Well, I understand. 
How old are your kids? Eight, six, and four. So I, I think what she's wanting is you to estimate how much worth, worth of stuff you took. I'll be primary. Can you quick satisfy the only person? But I mean, y'all can see my whole next chat. Well, they're not going to do that. That that did you did you ever clock out? This is. Did she ever clock out? No, I don't think so. Because you were going to wait till you got to your car. No, I clock out. I have to. Um, you have to be in the store to clock out. Uh, it won't let you clock out. So you were just the here out. putting the stuff in your car before you went to your before you got down. So this well, I had to come back in. This is all the stuff I'm talking about. All right, so look at all. Now, so, so yeah, now some of that stuff is up there. Already on the top side part. But she says it looks like you walk around and select that stuff while you, while you're stalking throughout the day. Well, on my break. But then, do you later put that stuff in the boxes? No. What do you do with it? Most time, it gets left on the car. I got you. Like the car's back there now. It's slapped full with boxes and all that. How long have you worked here? Not long, like a month. Where'd you work before this? I worked at the other Walmart on the West Side doing online grocery. And then I did home health care. somebody that can take care of your kids? Um, not really. Well, you're going to have to. All right. Call somebody because you're going to go to jail today. Okay. Because here's what, I can't let you go considering you've done this four or five other times. Since you're going to go to jail today, what I'm going to do is when the other charges are ready, I'll either give you citations for those or I'll just have them, have them add them to your charges okay. so you get, so you get, um, 
charged with everything at once. You see what I'm saying? So you don't have to go back to jail. Because really, if I wanted to be an asshole, uh, for lack of a better word, I could just take warrants on you for all the so new stuff. That, You've been somewhat cooperative, yeah. so I'm not going to make you have to go back to jail on all the rest, but you're going to jail today because I can't let somebody just get off who's been doing this every single day. So call somebody about getting your kids. Um, and what will probably happen is you'll go to jail and they'll OR you out. You'll probably be out in a couple of hours. That's what I was wondering. How will I, I don't even think they're going to make you pay a bond since you never had any history. They'll let you right out. It's called an unsecured judicial release, but I at least need to get you in there and fingerprinted so you're in the system since it's been a pattern. But you'll probably be out in a couple hours without even having to pay. But mm -hmm. right now, what if I don't? You will. They let everybody no. out. No, I'm talking about. Do I need to? Um, because I can call someone to have, get the bond set. Well, right? they want. I'm telling you, you don't even have to pay a bond. It. You could get that set up, but they're letting people out for certain crimes right now, like shoplifting. How long do you think I'll be? Probably a couple hours, maybe an hour, maybe two hours. just depends on how busy they are, but okay. you'll be out soon. Um, as soon as you get there, confirm with them, but I look at the jail booking every day. For this charge, they're just going to kick you right out without a bond even being required. But call somebody about getting your kids before the patrol officer gets here because you're not going to be able to pick them up from after school. And like I said, since you've been cooperative, I'm not going to take a bunch more warrants on you. As soon as she can get this done, I'll just add it all together since you'll already be in the system for the one. When you, and you can never do this in Athens again because I know everybody. And if I ever see video of it, I'll be like, oh, I know her. So, But just get your kid situation. I can start my report. Scoot over a little more because I got to jump on that bench. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Got it squared away? I think so. If it's just going to be a couple hours. Yeah, it should be. But I mean, didn't you say they get out of after school? Yeah. Well, is somebody going to pick them up from after school? Yeah, somebody's going to pick them up for after school. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but yeah. I was trying to tell them I'd be home. You should. And look, you're barred from here, but if you come back just to get your car, that's understandable. So you can come back and drive your car out a lot, but other than that, don't come back. They're not going to try to prosecute you just for picking your car up, and okay. even if they wanted to, I wouldn't do anything with that. Can I just throw all this stuff away? I mean, if you want to. It's your stuff. I mean, I don't want to carry that to the jail. That's a sea boy. So, let's see, I'll get your phone number in a minute so I have that in case I need to meet with you for any reason. So let me get this done. Let's see, 1553, 1553, 15. Yeah, what you'll get is what's called an unsecured judicial release, and they'll just let you go as long as you'll show up for court, even if you won't have to pay a bond. So, like, when I've never been to jail at all. So, you got to go get fingerprinted and booked in, and they'll make you sign paperwork and they'll let you out pretty much. So, like, you have to take a shower and all that stuff? <laughs> no, this isn't the movies. I was like, it ain't like TV. They're not going to throw the delouser on you. You'll go, yeah. you'll go into the booking That's area, the they'll night. fingerprint you, they'll photograph you. No, you don't have to shower. I don't even think they make you shower if they. They will ask you COVID questions. You haven't been. You don't have COVID symptoms, right? Huh? You don't have COVID symptoms or anything, right? No, I've had COVID oh, just well. recently. Well, you're over it, so good. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Your court date will be December 20th at... And by then, I should have all these other charges. I'll probably just email the prosecutor and have her add this all together. Zero nine. Uh, yeah, if not, know. I'll call you and give you citations or something. I'm I'll, not gonna I'll, I'll get my car later. That's what I said. You can just come get it. That's. You're, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get from the jail. To well, it's just, well. I don't know. That's that's a you problem. I mean, yeah. I, but you can drive down. You can walk. It's literally a few blocks. 
Well, let me get a few pieces of amp. What's your phone number? That's weird. That's how our police number starts. 762. Alright, what was your date of birth again? 726 and Can I just walk and get in the car? Or you got me? Like, well, I'm not you, gonna run. you gotta be handcuffed. Here's what's gonna happen. I need you to transport her for me. She is going to jail. Okay. She's done this like six days in a row. I'm just charging her with misdemeanor shoplifting, but based on doing it every day, she needs to go to jail, I think. So, you can take her whenever. I'll print it over there for you. Um, then she has to handcuff you. I'm sorry. It's just yeah, procedure. What about this stuff? I'll hold on to it. Yeah, and she'll turn it into the jail. Okay. Thank you for being cooperative. Yeah. I know it sucks, but you can't do this. Okay. And we, and, you know, unfortunately, we caught you. I mean, make better decisions. Like your brain. That's different. Are you married? Not, no. So you're a single mother. What color are your eyes? Your ring, I think. Okay. Jack, my pants up. Well, she's got to check. Make sure you ain't got nothing hidden in there. Uh, uh, <laughs> what's in your back pocket? That's, it's, that's oh, it. that's fine. That's fine. Here. All right. <laughs> you didn't do a good job. I'll have it printed off over there for you in a minute. Okay. Thank you.